Welcome to your midweek update. Yes, we're back. I'm your host, Paul, from KCTK Radio. This is that very program where we give you a quick update about what people are talking about. We examine the latest trending Google searches for today so you know what everyone is concerned about. Now, I'm not claiming that these are the most important things or even that you should know them at all. And I'm certainly not claiming that you're talking about them because we know what you're talking about. You hate your job. I'm just helping you by letting you know what is going on in the world. So, without further ado, on with the countdown. Number five. Number five. (laughs) When are we going to get done talking about soccer? I think the answer is never, because number five is Matt Mizenga. Matt Mizenga. And if that's not his name, shouldn't it be Mizenga? Every time he does a, a goal, he runs up and down on the field with his sh- very short shorts and his, and his um, athletic sneakers. And then when he kicks the ball without touching it with his hands, he kicks it and it goes into a net and he says, Mazinga! I hope that's his name because he is the number five Google trending and it looks like uh, he mocked a Mexican player's height. And uh, I'm looking at the photo and uh, the Mexican player is kind of short. And uh, I don't know who Matt Mazinga is. Um, I, I think he's a, he, I, he's a soccer player. So if you want to know about a tall soccer player bullying a smaller soccer player, Check out Matt Mazinga. Number four. Number four is... Wow. I'd like to have all the children that are listening right now to... um, Well, ear muffet, as they say in the movies. Kind of ear muffet like this. Okay. Because the number four is Kendall Jenner nude. Kendall Jenner nudes have been leaked. And uh, many people on Twitter are body shaming her and saying she's too skinny. Um, and uh, it looks like they have been linked. I um, feel like, you know, you know, Kendall is the one that did the Pepsi commercial. She's the one that stopped all protest and did the Pepsi. Let me have myself some Coke. Ah. But it looks like um, some nude... Uh, Photos of her had been leaked and shared on Tuesday night. The photos, which came from a photo shoot from Russell James that were meant to be published in an upcoming book called Angels, were released without his permission. And, uh, of course, I'm looking at an article from USA Today. It is uh, 2018, and here's what the press says. Let me tell you what they said on Twitter. So, what did they say on Twitter? Because that really makes a difference what we think. Uh, yeah, Kendall Jenner is built like a boy who thinks a girl was born for the boy. Okay, that makes sense. Those naked pictures of Kendall Jenner got me dying. Why wouldn't she do that skeleton? Okay, and you're wondering who those are from? They're from someone made up on Twitter. We've got to stop this terrible compulsion that the media has of to reporting that you put something on Twitter that like it's true. I recommend they start listening to whatever people on podcasts say. It's totally fine. I have a lot more stories. That you do. Yeah. (laughs) That you do. Guilty as charged (laughs) with the stories. Now, it's time to check in with one of our sponsors. Located in the gated community of Dow's Lake, This fantastic rental home is perfect for nature lovers. Features include natural gas fireplace, floor design, and a lovely all-season sunroom perfect for bird watching or bookworms. With a covered balcony facing the lakefront, summer paddle boat rentals are access all year round. The Downs Lake community is truly a community for all seasons, and you can bring your pets too. For more details, contact 
Dowd Lake Rentals at 913-735-0060. Inquire about the Rental Homes Short-Term Leasing Program starting at $1,500 per month. Dowd's Lake, the perfect lake for a lake. That can't be right. The perfect place for a lake. Ah, that's better. And use promo code your midweek update at checkout. Number three. Okay, let's check out what number three is. Okay, here we go again. Uh, I don't know why I said that. Norm MacDonald, he uh, he said that he um, wished that his friends um, Louis C.K. and Roseanne Barr weren't going through troubled times. And so now everybody is mad at him for saying that. So much so that the uh, Tonight Show canceled his appearance uh, the other night. So that's what people are... Um, are um, googling and trying to find out how terrible Norm is because we got to find out every week. We got to find out who the most terrible person is, and uh, now they are um, kind of looking into everything that he's ever said to make sure that we all know that Norm Macdonald, who, by the way, is a brilliant comedian and uh, satirist, uh, maybe has said stu- something stupid in his past. And uh, since you listen to this show, you know that I believe that most people, at least I have, said many stupid things in my life. Number two. (sighs) Number two. Jenna Cooper. Jenna Cooper is now engaged with Jordan Kimball. Isn't that great? I didn't know if these two could make it, but they have. And they are uh, now in love. She was seeing someone else. When they were engaged, but now they're totally together. They're totally in. They did it for the right reasons. And they learned that paradise is for love. And I know you're saying, who the hell are these people? These people are Bachelor in Paradise people. And uh, I know this because my my dear loved one likes watching the show. And I'll be honest with you. I watch it with her. And Jenna and uh, Jordan are um, absolutely gorgeous people. They seem really like terrible people, but they uh, have fell in, fallen in love. And people are now uh, Googling Jenna Cooper to find out when she's getting married to uh, Jordan Kimball and finding out about all the things that may happen in their life. And I'm sure it will be uh, another reality show coming up. And that is the number two Google search. Can you believe it? The number two Google search. Now, um, it is um, September the 12th, 2018. Uh, We have a big hurricane coming our way in the U.S. We have uh, a president that is under investigation. Um, We have fires in L.A. So let's go to the number one Google search. And number one. Yes, that's right. Henry Cavell's number one. You thought maybe people would be wondering about the hurricane coming to destroy part of our uh, citizenry. Uh, You know, you may have thought about people would want to know more about the investigation and surprise that. No, they want to know, is Henry Cavell still going to be Superman? And uh, WB, Warner Brothers, says they have no decision made on on Henry Cavill's Superman future. There was a rumor on the internet that he wasn't going to be playing Superman anymore. I saw this, I think, maybe this morning, um, as an avid Superman fan. I mean, Superman's the guy, right? And uh, evidently, the internet, with uh, 200,000-plus people, I've tried to figure out, is Henry Cavill still being Superman? Um and, and I'm going to tell you just, just my opinion on this. As a guy who just loves Superman, the Christopher Reeve show, the cartoons, everything Superman, I'm a big fan of. Um, but I don't think anybody's going to miss Henry Cavill. He's kind of looks the part in a way. But uh, the last movie, The Man of Steel, really didn't catch the humanity that should be Superman and the um, the way that uh, the inspirationalness is if that's a word, the way that Superman would inspire everybody. Henry really never captured it. I can't really blame him. It could be just the writing and the way they had the direction of the character. But, I mean, let's face it, folks. We had Adam West, um, uh, Michael Keaton, uh, Ben Laden, Ben 
what's his name? Affleck. Yeah, that's right. And we've had uh, George Clooney. We had a lot of different Batmans. Yes, there's a mask on the guy, but no one cares who Superman is. Just get a competent actor in there, make him tall, 6'4", 235 pounds, make him look good in the suit, and no one's really going to care that Henry Cavill is not going to be Superman anymore. At least me as a Superman fan, I definitely will show up at the Superman movie, and whoever is the lucky guy who's the latest guy going to be playing Superman in a red cape with the red boots, I'll be there. It's totally fine. I did that again. Ooh, it's a rough one. I got to... So it's a rough one. And uh, again, we see what people are thinking about. They're not thinking about weather, personal safety, the future of our Constitution. They're thinking about Superman and reality shows. Ah, yes. So, thank you for tuning in to your midweek update. This is Paul saying, until we meet again, stay safe. This has been a KCTK production produced by Paul Lavoda. If you want more information about this content, then you have some real weirdness going on. You can always check out KCTK Radio on Facebook. Listen to live programs at kctk.radio12345.com. Yes, and that is on the World Wide Web. Thank you.